I think we've established pretty firmly that there's no evidence that steroids cause cancer. No. Uh, I don't know if there is any actual evidence, any data to support that growth hormone so that's uh, why I did. causes I do, cancer. I do apologize. I steered off the track because I'm ADD guy. You got you brought me back. You gave me some Ritalin that's and you gave more. it my, right in my veins. Yeah. So here's the deal. Growth hormone peptides that increase your own endogenous production of growth hormone, IGF-1, we all know about these things. The scary thing is this. If you have a cancer cell, if you have cancer in your body, the concern is, and I've talked to expert doctors, hematology, oncology guys, if you have that in your body, it's, the potential for growing it is going to be there. It's a growth stimulant. It's a growth agent. When they, when they, you know why they have IGF-1 in, in the medical lab? Not, not for anti-aging not for anti -aging, uh, places. They, they use it, Ron, to, to, to measure if they've killed the cancer off. And so it's called organ cancer. You know, it's an organ, you know, can organ cancer, pancreatic cancer, maybe brain sarcoma. They use markers once they remove the cancer with either surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. They use IGF. This is the, I learned years ago, I was like, that's really interesting. No one, no one in the world knows this. So doctors know it and people that are smart know it. So if you measure IGF-1 and it's low or normal, everyone's normal, by the way, no one's really low. Mm -hmm. And unless you have a brain, a, a brain trauma, if, and you have pan hypopituitaryism, then you need growth hormone. Yeah. And then thyroid and adrenal, you need everything. But this is not this. So when you measure it and you increase your IGF-1, which Ron, it works. Growth hormone, depending on what you're getting and who you're getting it from, it does increase IGF-1 alpha. Wow. Now, do you, I don't want mine to be up. So that, again, I've seen lymphoma. I've seen, and I tell them too, sir, you think all these guys have lymphoma to see me, never brain cancer, but lymphomas and different types of other colon cancers, colorectal cancer I've seen, and they're on, they have growth hormone for a while because they go to anti-aging places. Millions of people go. And I, they say, doc, I know I did this, I gave myself growth hormone for a month, two months, maybe a year, maybe a couple years on and off. And I always reassure them, I say, sir, we don't even know. But let me tell you something right now. This guy up there in Canada, Isaac, he's yeah. not on any growth factors right now. I can guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. well, so I don't think he's on anything performance enhancing now. But, but the doctors are going to tell him. Yeah. He has oncologists on board. They're, he has neurosurgeons and he has oncologists an internal medicine hospitalist. He's got a few doctors. Okay, I assume his heart and his kidneys okay. He doesn't have those doctors. Hopefully not. So they're coming in the room. They're all working together as a unit, as a team. And, and they, they did a history. They asked him what drugs he's on. And I'm sure they shrugged their shoulders. Hopefully they were not aggressive and mean to him because it's no, there's no, it doesn't help now. Yeah. But, but they're going to put in the charts that he was on IGF. And I, I look, I assume IGF. But, you know, may Reportedly, you know, theor Ron, theoretically. The, here's what I'm worrying about. Let's get right to the fucking end of the show and the meat of the show. Hmm. Are we seeing this coming home now? Are we seeing it now? Because now, and this is, again, this is rare. Now, how long has IGF been used? We all knew Rich Piana. I, not many guys use IGF-1, and if it was, it's bunkus. Well, it's it, very pros cost prohibitive, very much it, so. But... In the last couple of years, and, and this, my statements are for the douchebag and for the, and for the gurus and all the haters. You know what? I, don't, I think IGF-1, it's being used now, and I think it's being used because I see guys coming in. I say, how do you afford, Doc, you know, for a couple of grand, you can get the stuff now. Yeah. I want to get, I want to dialogue on this, guys. Mm -hmm. So if we are seeing in the last couple of years, five years, it's not 10 years, but in the last 10 years, growth, I, real growth hormone, insulin, peptides, IGF-1. Come on, Ron. We're talking big stuff here. Uh, this is a show for smart guys. Doctors watching this right now, I have a lot of doctors that follow me. They're, they don't even know what we're talking about right now. Hmm. Yeah. So is this a manifestation of a synergy? You know what that means, synergy. Yeah. One plus one plus one plus one, and this is still rare. But I'm telling you guys, 
if we see more and more of this stuff, it's going to be sad. But there is a point now, Ron, in this show, we have to say it. Okay, steroids are steroids. I'm not giving a goddamn blessing on them. People love them, though, man. It's fun. It's great. You feel good. Is there a line between some steroids and watching the heart stuff and the kidney stuff and trying to, you know, but is there a point now in mo modern bodybuilding that we're going to see, here we are, we're going to start to see more cancers, 